There's a big change coming to a day one attraction at Disneyland. Autopia is not only going hybrid, but it sounds like it's going fully electric. And the LA Times has a lot of thoughts about that. Let's talk about that on That Park Place. Hello, I am Jonas J. Campbell, an investigative reporter from That Park Place. And uh, just a gas guzzling. I mean, I, 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 have a I have a little bit of gas in my coffee every single morning. What about you, Vash? Uh, what gets that pep in your step? Oh, well, a, a, a good, strong morning, Joe, for me as well there, Jonas. And uh, boy, oh boy, do we have one gassy story? Maybe lagging <laughs> gas? I don't know. But uh, a lot of people have been looking forward to this change, admittedly, but uh, maybe some more than others. Yeah, and, and 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 we'll go to the article here, but I, I think it's a good thing they're going electric. That's uh, that's that's not a bad thing in any way, other than it might create some issues in keeping these things charged all day. This column Please. from the climate and environment section of the LA Times, Disneyland just promised electric cars at Autopia gas will be gone by twenty twenty six. I don't know if this is a prediction for the whole world or just Disneyland, but. Here we go. This by Sammy Roth, who is a climate columnist for the LA Times. Just to get an idea, um, here, here we go. Uh, Sammy Roth is a climate columnist for LA Times. He writes the twice weekly boiling point newsletter and focuses on clean energy solutions. He previously reported for the Desert Sun and USA Today, where he would cover renewable energy and public lands. He grew up in Westwood and very much liked to see the Dodgers win the World Series again. All right. When, when the Walt Disney Company announced earlier this month that it would long at long last ditch the smog-spewing gasoline engines at its beloved Autopia attraction in Anaheim, the company left a few key details to the imagination. That's what they do best, though. Would the new mm. ride vehicles be purely electric, or would they be hybrids that still burn some climate-wrecking oil-based fuel? I'm I'm beginning... There's a lot of hyphens in here. Uh, smog-spewing, climate-wrecking, oil-based fuel, okay? And how long would it take for Walt Disney's creative and engineering heirs to make the long overdue? There's another one, another hyphen. Oh, man, this mm. is fascinating. Uh, switch, after I wrote a story breaking the news about the company's plan, a coalition of electric vehicle activists launched a campaign to pressure Disney to commit to electric vehicles, not hybrids, to, to phase out gasoline within two years on Thursday, the activists won. This is fascinating. To me um is is this Indeed. a political issue here <laughs> apparently apparently it's uh they they uh, they they produce so much smog that it's like let's go ahead and have a pressure campaign to get them to, to turn this around right here it's a very strange uh idea because i mean i, I think autopia if 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 we were to say compare that to the i5 right next door or 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 you know some of the la freeways i, I don't think it's even a tenth of what they produce uh, daily right there i think they're two-stroke engines lawnmower engines yeah, I, I, I would imagine, and in, 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 I don't, I don't know what it's like in Autopia, in <laughs> as opposed to the Tomorrowland Speedway in Walt Disney World. But when you get to the Walt Disney World version of this ride, it just smells like a go kart, go kart track. There's, it's the unmistakable scent of of gas powered engines. But that being said, it's one, it's not that unpa unpleasant of a scent. It's a little nostalgic. I'll, I will say that it's kind of fun. It just smells like a fun time. Uh, that that uh, gas power there but uh, i i couldn't imagine that these tiny little engines are really doing that much other than uh, making people nostalgic for getting out on the road it's a it's kind of a toned down go-kart track in my opinion vash am i <laughs> am i off there no i'm i don't think you're off base at all now i think in years past when you had Auto autopia going actually there were as many as three versions of autopia in various points in uh, autopia's life at least at disneyland and they combined a lot of those tracks for the 1998 redo of tomorrowland uh, but back in the day it used to be the submarine voyage the motorboat cruise and autopia so i could see the you know the idea that oh they, these uh, produce a lot of smog but i believe the company spent a sizable amount i mean i remember the the quote being that it was a hundred million dollar refurb for the submarine voyage right next door. Part of that was to convert those into electric. So that took down the smog quite a bit right there. And I know they've, they've had some uh, improvements to Autopia uh, several, actually, I think they had the, you know, seven versions by the first 10 years or something crazy like that. So I know they've improved on uh, emissions uh, 
you know, throughout the entire park, but, but in Autopia specifically. So I, I, am not, I'm not quite entirely sure uh, that it's worth a uh, coalition <laughs> uh, to change this over. <laughs> well, I think it, it's one is a, it's a way for Disney to talk about going into the future and the idea of electric being the future. I think no matter your stance on gas, I think that it's a good look for Disney to say, Hey, we have this thing that is so yeah. far into the future that it's probably not going to happen on roadways for a very long time. But, uh, lo it's looking right line. here, let's say we'll, will, will we, they will no longer be using the current engines within the next 30 months. That's such a very specific time frame there. Interesting. Right. That means by fall of 2026, Disney guests will no longer have to worry about breathing. Oh, here's another hyphen lung damaging exhaust as they wait in line for autopia and park employees won't have to spend hours long there's another hyphen uh shifts inhaling those fumes as they work the ride it's amazing uh, there, there's so many phrases here that uh, instead of saying exhaust which damages lungs it just takes it as a given if you if you just link those together with a hyphen what what an interesting little style guide uh we're forming here uh, right. <laughs> Zan Dubin, the electric vehicle advocate leading to the pressure campaign, was thrilled when she heard Thursday's news. She called it a huge victory and a powerful reminder that climate activism works. All right. All right. All it takes for bad stuff to keep happening is for good people to do nothing, she said, paraphrasing Abraham Lincoln. Uh, we'll we'll have some discussion of Abraham Lincoln on the channel soon. And we refuse to stand by and do nothing. OK. All right. Um, oh, oh, here's another paragraph, a little diversion here. The stories that Disney tells at its theme parks and on its streaming services, cruise ships, and other platforms are far more than entertainment. It's, it's, it's also interesting here that instead of commas, they're using dashes here for these parentheticals. Um, they play a powerful role in shaping how we understand our world and ourselves. That's why the company's decision to close Disneyland's Splash Mountain ride, which was based on a, mm, I'm going to say problematic, but that's not the word he uses, and mm. oh, and another another dash here instead of a parentheses, and its increasing embrace of uh, alphabet characters in its film have become such political flashpoints. The opponents of progress know that these choices matters matter. Oh my! Mm. All mm. right, we're gonna leave that right there uh, yeah. where it is. And continue on the ride opened in uh, 1955. Idea gas guzzling. There's another one. And sprawling freeways. And the, another parenthetical here. I, I can tell that this guy's just holding back so much here with each one of these parentheses and dashes. Uh, oh, here's another one. And less around cars. Uh, the happier and healthier we will be. Mining to supply lithium for lithium ion. Oh, there's a hyphen. At, at least this one's not charged although it is talking about batteries, <laughs> uh, can be environmentally destructive in some places. Uh, freeways have historically been built through low-income communities of, oh my, this is, I mean, every ounce of this article and talking about the freeway system, talking about gas, you would think that, that gas-powered cars are the greatest evil that has ever befallen America, nay, the world here. Oh, <laughs> yeah, I'm, yes. I'm happy for this guy that he gets this win, um, whether or not, it can be attributed to activism, whether or not it can be attributed to just uh, Disney wanting to have a good time and market their uh, their their theme park attraction that has a couple of go karts in it. Uh, Vash, I think we need to back away from this article slowly. Let's <laughs> I think so. I think so. Well, let's 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 uh, let's shift the pace here. Now, I was talking to uh, uh, a friend of the channel, Marty Snyder, interestingly enough, and he was telling me, "Hey, look, listen, this is not necessarily a." much about uh, Disney's uh, willingness or 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 um, passion to change over their vehicles here. This more has to do with uh, some of the bans that are incoming uh, statewide in California, and that might be impacting their decisions right here. Now, a lot of people felt like, uh, oh, let me just show, show you this one right here. A lot of people felt like, well, um, you know, it's 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 a, a big piece of real estate back here. As you can see on this area calculator, I had about eight acres. If you include various parts of the motorboat cruise section and everything like that, wouldn't this be making a, a great expansion pad for something in the future? Is the the uh, the novelty of children being able to ride in this tracked fashion here? You know, is it past its prime? But I, I mean, I remember reading uh, uh, what is it? Uh, reports going back to the 1950s suggesting that this was the top three attraction in the park, especially upon opening right behind the steam train and uh, Peter Pan, interestingly enough. 
and I, and from what I understand, it has always been very, very popular. So I can kind of see the idea of like, okay, let's keep this around for a little bit longer. As you know, in 2016, Honda actually started sponsoring the attraction from Chevron. And uh, that's where they had the, like the little Osimo characters right there. Well, if the deadline is 2026, does that mean that uh, they're looking for a new sponsor? Or, or are they somehow convincing Honda to under? undertake this change right here to this historic attraction from the 19 uh, uh from opening day 1955 it, it seems like it and that's why they may not be interested in you know replacing it if they can get a sponsorship deal somebody else to you know upfront these what i would think considerable costs and uh, i you know the article doesn't necessarily go into you know the problematic uh <laughs> mining of of lithium for these things or or even energy consumption i know rise of resistance uses uses a, a series of rechargeable batteries and that uses a tremendous amount of power right there so uh, you know there are some questions left unanswered in this entire right. story but yeah i, I, I would say they're uh, as well. So sponsoring these rides is a great way of keeping them refreshed on a regular basis, especially for these non e-ticket attractions that are people eaters. They're, they're classics in some way. A Asimo is, is fascinating. And there needs to be more about Asimo in the parks because he speaks to that idea of a, of a bright future where maybe we have little, little hobbit sized robots that can help us. They're, they're kind of adorable. And, uh, and they, they do little dances. I love these things whenever I see uh, videos of them. Of course, uh, the Boston Dynamics ones that are 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 tall and and in about human size. Those things scare me a little bit <laughs> yes. with their uh, with with their arms that can like reverse around and the heads that can do a three sixty or one eighty spin. Uh, there, they 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 creep me out in a in a completely different way. But Asimo is short and non threatening. I feel like I could take on an Asimo in a fight and and possibly <laughs> win. Uh, whereas those Boston Dynamics ones and the robot dogs, those things, those things scare me a little bit. I'm not, I'm <laughs> just going to point that out. Of course, the, the question is, how will Disney go about uh, pitching this? How will they incorporate fully electric vehicles here and a charging solution? Because I don't think that they can do these without taking a, having a large store of them that are either charging constantly. So then you right. would assume, assumingly have a third rail there or taking a lot out of circulation on a regular basis, or do you need to have special training for the cast members on changing out batteries on a frequent basis? See, that's the thing. Your your special your specialized skill set attached to this ride changes uh, dramatically right here. I mean, these were kind of simplistic two stroke engines uh, where parts were readily available. You know, what happens when some of these things uh, don't operate how they should, or when you have mechanical problems and so forth? Do we have to get a new slew of cast members to maintain these specifically right here, or do they go with the third rail option? as uh, culture casino has uh, laid out so brilliantly and and, and honestly I, I can see them going that direction but uh, again now does that become any other dark ride you know is that necessarily future uh, focused right there is it that is that representative of honda's brand there's a lot of things that uh, need to be addressed right here uh, before we get this changeover which is why i think the company has been pushing it off so much mm -hmm. I, I i think you're right and but but we want to throw this to our comment leaving commenters here uh on that park place or our like button clicking uh viewers uh if i can come up with another hyphen uh here a subscriber button clicking cadre as i've said leave a comment if you have something to say about this very um charged article haha <laughs> see i did it again there uh click the like button if you like this video and consider subscribing to that park place for all the news that should be fun thanks for watching that park place news for more information consider checking out www.thatparkplace.com and don't forget to subscribe share like and send this out on your favorite social media accounts.